Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just going to do a tasting of a couple beers tonight. And first up, I've got the Tired Bastard Dark Mild. And I got the recipe from a really good friend in New Zealand. He goes by the name Finru Home Brewing on YouTube. There's a link down below. It's a great channel. And he's a really great guy. You got to check it out. I'm sure a lot of you already know who Finru is. And if you do, you know the Tired Bastard is one of his favorites. <laughs> Take a look at that. It's nice and clear, but the color is not near as dark as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to guess that has to do with my shorter boil time because Finn boils his for 80 minutes. Oh, the smell. There's some roast, a little bit of coffee. Mmm. A little bit of biscuit. And then right in the middle, those Monterey hops. Mmm. Wow. One of the more unusual beers that I've made, for sure. And one of the best beers I've ever made. So, I'm going to head and dive right into this. Because I'm pretty thirsty. Mother of God. Well, let's talk about this. The color is very deceptive. Uh, it certainly tastes darker than it is. Um, the hops come right through. In fact, everything that I used to describe the aroma it's all there in the flavor too. Oh wow. Just a beautiful, beautiful beer. Big shout out to Fenru for this. Thank you so much. Cheers. Oh my God. Let me just stop right here. This has everything that you would expect out of this combination of hops. The floral, citrus, it's, this is what I love. Oh. Without further ado, I'm going to dive into this one. Mm. The floral, citrus, a little bit of dank in there. Maybe some resiny pine notes. But again, it's, it's what I expect out of a beer like this. Nice lacing down the glass. Beautiful beer. Oh, well, that's it for me. I'm gonna go enjoy this beer rest of this beer and uh, maybe a few more. 
So, until next time. Now this son of a bitch needs not to play with my beans. Well, wow, he's not, um, I don't recognize him. This guy's way, he's made himself way too comfortable. <laughs> I bet he's got a nut buried in there. I've never seen a squirrel in a fern before. Well, you know, the dove was in there this summer. What are you doing in the fern? Don't tell me you're going to try to build a nest there. <laughs> you dumbass. Cheers to you. I'm gonna have a cookie, man. Let's go check it out. It kind of looks like a light switch cover. Yeah, yeah I started opening up this son of a bitch. Let me hang on here. Let's get him unwrapped. Damn cookie. All right. Mm. It tastes like Mick and Keith all in one cookie. Mm. I'm so sorry I had to watch this. Cheers. Cheers, Sam.